Hey guys, Kimi Sylveon, and welcome back to the Magical Toza HTL. Anton is having a moment. And he is just silent because of it. Uh, ignore that last part. Well, you don't have to say anything right this moment. I just hope it doesn't worry you too much, Anton. If you ever need to anyone to talk to, I'll be right there. I know you will. However, in that case, perhaps it would be better to be honest right now. CL? Th that's me! Really? I'm going to tell you something serious right now. And because you were, were the one who asked. I won't see your memory, even if you find that what I'm about to say is burdensome, understood? Sand? Got it! <laughs> I shouldn't tell you something like this. Perhaps it's far too late for me. It seems that I've come to have feelings past what a knight should have for their master. I forgot he's more like a robot. He doesn't know what m love and things are. I called it. I've fallen in love with you, CL. <laughs> There's no need for you to force yourself to return my feelings. Just telling you the truth was enough. D don't! But I've already confessed. Or, no, I mean, I feel the same way, Anton. Ah. Surely? Of course. I never thought that you would actually feel the same way, much less the best. I see. It seems that we'll need to take more time to better understand each other. Yeah. To think that you felt such a way for someone like me. What do you mean, someone like me? Anton, you're... Yeah. N never mind. <laughs> Can we just stay here together for a little longer? <laughs> yeah, of course. And maybe... Oh boy. Yeah. Pardon? Never mind, it wasn't important. <laughs> it appears that I have a bad habit of doing that. I apologize. <laughs> I had heard you the first time. And some distance away. Finally, there they are. Why is this so ridiculous? Feel so ridiculously big, Wood Spirit. What can I say? You're not supposed to intrude and you drop down others' love lives. Intrude, please. I'm a guardian angel. Hmm. If you say so. <laughs> it's true. Well, I can sense what you feel right now. You've done a lot for her, haven't you? I'm not sure why, though. What? Did you pay? Someone pay you to watch over her or something? Pay, not it. Uh oh. <laughs> you alright? That I am. I see. I'll be heading back first. Try not to die of heartbreak, will ya? The spirit le leaves you in alone. Oh, and I already had the what spirit ex you been ship. Oh. Concerning me and your dead wood spirit. Up until now, I had completely forgotten the reason why I stuck around her. Returning as a runaway, pr returning a runaway princess for a hypothetical reward, huh? That time seems so far away. 
I wouldn't even consider it now. I'd personally do anyone if they tried to pull a stunt like that. Well, it seems like you've got your happy ending. The journey was sure, sure was a wild ride. You changed, and I changed without realizing it. I hope your honesty rubbed off on me at the least, at least a little bit. I told you in the beginning that I liked some of the people, didn't I? It wasn't a bad journey. I'd go as far as I'd say I liked it. <laughs> I'd go even as far as to say I'd do it again. But now it looks like you don't need me anymore. You'll be fine. You'll be just fine since you're you. Even if only the only thing I will be able to remember in the future was this journey. Then I'll be just fine. <laughs> well, that's enough stuff for a situation. There's sure enough stuff around here already anyway. Grant me one last memento, will you? Yvin raises his hand into a picture frame to make a keepsake of this memory for the last time. Smile, CL. It suits you. And so, sometime after that, you're in town with Anton waiting for Florian to come back from an errand. Not much has changed after that confession. Anton pretty much acts the same as he al as always around me. Well, I wouldn't want it any other way, though. I like him just the way he is. But sometimes I wish he wouldn't in initiate something. Sometimes I wish he would initiate something. Anything. Knowing Anton, I'd have to tell him up front, but... That's really embarrassing. Anton! Yes? Mm. Uh, under is something the matter? No, everything is fine. Just peachy. In that case, what is the matter? <laughs> Anton gently pats your head. <laughs> I remember being oblivious to your feelings before. So I hope I can make it up to you now. All right. I brought the... Oh, never mind. I'll just give you two a moment. Ah, wait, hey! Hey, wait, Florian! It's fine, we can go now. No, we can't. It looks like I completely forgot to bring the, uh, the thing that I solely set out for. Silly me. I'll be back soon. Ish. Florian certainly seems to be leaving the two of us alone more often. Sheesh. Can't believe him. But I kind of appreciate it. Is that so? In that case, we'll have to use that time wisely. He's so... I am about to pass out. There are some things that I only open up to talk about when it's just the two of us, after all. Oh, right. Talk. Is something the matter? N nothing. Get your mind out of the gutter, CL. I see. If anything is ever out of order, please let me know. I am here for you, and I always will be. This time, I will stay by your side, no matter what may happen. Oh, Can I have a different... Sometime later, you receive a anonymous gift from someone. Ooh. Can I... Can I open? No. Aw. Congratulations! Yay! I'm finishing Magic Dill with Jose CL. Yay!
Ooh. See the extra scenes and author note. Not now. I want to go back and see extras. Anton. Ooh. Sometime after your trip to the flower field, you decided to visit Emmering and your father again. And this inevitably led you to have explained your new relationship to your father. You, Anton, and your father talked together in the castle. You told your father about all, all about your journey. That's good to hear that you're doing well, Seal. However, y yeah. If there's, is there something you aren't telling me? <laughs> How does he know, Lady Seal? Anton whispers over to you. Perhaps I should be the one to tell them after all. You seem to be troubled already. No, I can at least do this. I'm just worried about how he reacts to you. He trusts you a lot after all. Certainly. If this goes bad, that might be turned into trust. Don't worry, Anton. Just leave it to me. <coughs> uh, Dad? Yes? Uh... Okay, I'll just tell him straightforward to me. Well... To put it simply... Anton and I are in a romantic relationship now. Oh boy. I see. I don't believe you had such intentions when you left to search for CL, Anton. Yes, well, things happened along the way. <laughs> but I assure you, just as I always have, I would dedicate my life to her, Sire. No, Johannes. Hm. I will hold you true to your words, Anton. Take care of my daughter. Yes, of course. Wow, so that means... No kissing until you're married. What? Understood. I don't have a problem with that. Hey! I might! Err! Later that day, you and your father were talking to each other privately. <laughs> I'm surprised you took all that so well, Dad. Yes, well, I'd be lying to say if I took it perfectly. But I can tell that your new partner cares for you deeply. For once in a long time, this power of mine has given me a sense of relief. The last time something like this happened, it was when I met your mother. Your power? What do you mean? Hmm. Perhaps things would make more sense if I, for you now if I told you. CL, I never did tell you what my ability is. Or rather, what magic power I was born with is. I can see through lies. No matter how skilled the liar. I can also read how honest a person's words are and sense any ulterior motives. Weird. Wow. So, it's not just li like how normal people can have a feeling about someone lying, right? Yes. The indication is extremely obvious to me. At times, I can see a double of the speaker. Which shows their true nature. It's sort of a premonition magic, similar to the magic used in fortune telling. The Light King also had the same powers I do. Honestly, it's a difficult magical magic to live with. It 
and it's far more troubling than one might expect it to be. In any case, I have to tell you now. Every time you've tried to convince me to let you go, and I stubbornly refused, I knew. I knew that you only had good intentions. Even though I trusted my judgment in all other matters, I chose to go against what my premonitions told me when it came to you. All these years, you must have suffered as a result. I was too proud to let and too afraid to let you go. Both your mother and Lumi have already passed on. I don't think I could bear it if you died before me as well. But that's just an excuse now. It's natural that you became upset with me and ran away. I'm sorry, Sion. I've been a fool. Your mother would have been disgusted with me if she knew. Even Lumi would hate me at this point. Oh, don't worry, Dad. I'm glad you told me this. Yes, a talk like this for me is long overdue. I assume you'll be setting off again soon. Take some care, Seal. I will, and I'll come back to visit every once in a while, too. I'm not planning on traveling around forever. In fact, I think I want to have a job like yours, Dad. I want to help as many people as I can. I see. In that case, I will teach you everything I've learned over the years when the time comes. And again, take care. Aw, he's smiling! It really has been a long time since I've seen you this cheerful. It's been a long time since you called me Dad instead of King. Whoa! He's smiling! This is even more than seeing Anton smile! By the way, CL. Yes? Did you... <coughs> Did you smile after seeing that selfie I took with your friend? <laughs> of course I did. I'm amazed that you actually agreed to it. I suppose I accepted it as punishment for everything. Perhaps I deserve even worse. No, it's fine. I'm going to treasure those photos for the rest of my life. You really can't control how angry you look, Dad. Aww. Ooh, let's do Q&A. The characters of Magical Toze CL have gathered to have a Q&A section after the release of the game. Hello there, everyone. I'll be your humble announcer for this Q&A. We have even Marhen and Ven joining us today. I don't usually leave my world, but it's okay. But it's okay for this time because the fourth wall is already broken. <laughs> Let's get along. Let's all get along. I don't know if that's possible for flooring in your bin. <laughs> you can say that again. Oh, why can't we all just be friends? Because I don't like you. Is it because of the puns? Partly. Oh, don't keep the announcer guy waiting, you two. That's right! Ahem! <coughs> In any case, the first question is for... Marhan! Marhan! Oh, really? I wasn't really expecting anything. There were people who haven't a asked to root for you, you know. Oh, how sweet of them. <laughs> It's a little embarrassing to think about. That being said, the first question is, Martin, can you be my boyfriend? B boyfriend? Oh my. Every once in a while, people ask me things like that in their dreams, but I never get used to hearing it. I'm sorry to say that I can't. I'm not in normal existence, after all. The only time you can remember or meet me is in your dreams. So, I can't be your boyfriend, girlfriend, or a back to partner in, in general. Aww. I only want everyone to have a 
live a real happy life in peace with everyone else. Dreams are no place for that to happen. You would be much happier with someone else. It's for the best. Even so, I'd be happy to talk with you anytime you're in dreaming. If you ever need anyone to lend an ear, I'll always be waiting for you. A sweet answer, as expected of Marhan. Next question is for Mark and is, what happened to your eye? Oh, this sort of related to my powers. As you know, I guard over people's souls in their dreams. Part of my consciousness is doing that right now as we speak. Keeping at least one eye closed like this just makes it easier for me to concentrate on that. Nice, Marhen is sure is diligent. Of course, people would die if I was lenient. R right. Good thing you're th the one doing that job. Anyway, the next question is for Ven. I'm ready. The question is, how tall are you? Well, I'm somewhere from 4 to 5 feet or 122 to 152 centimeters. Let's leave it at that. <coughs> the next question is, what? why is one side of your hair longer than the other? An unfortunate hair cutting accident for the aesthetic or a curse? <laughs> the reasoning isn't anything too dramatic. Way back when I was a human, I wasn't sure if I preferred both sides of my hair to be long or not. So I kept one side short for comparison. I was uh, planning on deciding which side I like more, but then things happened. So now I just keep it this way. Reminds me of old times. Besides, it looks kind of cool like this, doesn't it? Makes me look a little more mysterious and stuff. You betcha! Thanks for sharing that with us, Ven. Next question is for Florian. This isn't going to be like the question in Ven's dungeon, right? <laughs> Probably not. Hopefully. Reassuring. Your first question. Do you li really like reading romance novels? B what? Uh, of course not. Who told you that? You're, you like reading romance novels, Florian? It's nothing to be embarrassed about. I see you reading books about medicine every once in a while. But I guess you were just using those to hide romance novels. It, it's not like that. Sure it isn't. Well, on to the next question for Florian. Next question is, why are you so precious? Why am I so... Huh? I uh, don't know what you're talking about. Are you embarrassed, Florian? N no. Sheesh. The fans really like flirting, don't they? You might want to get used to it. Next question is for Yvin. Bring it on. The question is, do you s like to sleep a lot? Oh, you know it. Sleep is just amazing. And it's free. Sleep is so great that sometimes you feel it's alright if you get on sleeping forever. Uh, that's bad. You might die if you don't wake up. The next question is for Anton. The question is, can we see you without your armor? Why would the fans ask such a thing? Those, I suppose that much is fine. <laughs> Anton takes the top part of his armor off! Wow! I don't usually see Anton without his armor off in broad daylight. Does this solution really just... Really just ask? Does this suffice? True, I bet it does. Although I think I'm hearing some feedback with motors of take it all off, but let's ignore that. Agreed. Sheesh, you are tough, co tough com competition, I gotta say. 
And also... Oh boy. What are you doing? I'm gonna sell these pictures for premium, of course. You think I'd let a chance like this slip by? You wanna split the rewards, Anton? I don't need money gained through so such methods. Aw. I'm sad. Oh well, looks like the show is over. <laughs> Moving on! The next question is for CL! Which cake flavor do you like the best out of vanilla, red velvet, and silky smooth chocolate? Huh. I wonder why they'd ask me to choose out of those three. Is this qu question hitting at something else? No, of course not. Okay, then. Uh, I guess I prefer it. Red velvet. I prefer red velvet. Is that so? Hmm. Oh, he smiled. Princess's choice make you happy, huh? That's none of your business. Last question is for everyone. <laughs> What's your favorite ice cream flavors? Hmm, I guess the same as the cake flavor for me. Ice cream, huh? It's been a while. I've always been more of a shaved ice cream kind of guy. This will sound silly, but I like the flavors with a pretty color to them. Don't you think the, the color can make the ice cream taste that better or worse sometimes? I'm fine with most vanillas, as long as it's anything weird. I usually get vanilla or strawberry, though. I s suppose I prefer vanilla. I'm the kind of guy who has a gazillion different flavors of scoops and does crazy stuff with the toppings. Gotta live your life, right? Does the choice of ice cream really have to do with living your life? It sure does! You could say that again. Yay! More embarrassing questions than answers. Wait. Ooh. Several. Yay! Yay! Cheers, everyone! Things worked out really well. Well, leaving aside that one ma big error on release and the numbers updates uh, that Benson had to do. Oh, come on. Do you really have to be pessimistic right now, too? Keep talking about that and Benson's going to be crying right along beside those ghosts. Oh, that character development on in your route didn't ease up on how much of a tightwad you are, huh? Wait, what? Whatever. That doesn't mean a lot coming from the guy who had people complain on his route. Oh, really? We're going to go there. It's getting real personal at dinner celebration tonight. Oh, come on, both of you. Do you really have to argue right now, too? Don't stop me, princess. Chumpy here insulted my honor. Again with the chumpy? It's fine to leave it be, Lady Sale. Apparently the fans enjoy it when the two of them argue like this. Really? Well, okay. I guess it's just all they are, anyway. Glad you see that, Princess. <clears throat> back to business? Right, back to business. People complained about your roof being short and lackluster, which is... Which I assume is the same as your... Whoa, whoa! Stop right there! This game is supposed to be relatively clean and pure. The motto that I made up right now is clean and pure with love and humor. So stick to it. Right. I'm not sure how pure you can keep a game that everyone downloads while muttering, I'm about to sin, but you're right. Is that what they say? Anyway, what were you going to say before, Florian? Nothing. Well, maybe it really is nothing. <laughs> hey! 
What did I just say? Clean and pure. H huh? What are they talking about, Anton? Nothing. <laughs> okay. Sheesh. You two brothers are mentally high-fiving right now, aren't you? Whatever. You may as you know as well as I do that Batson didn't intend to make my proom seem like any less. Sure, she made this a little unclear, but my route already started in other routes. My actual route is more like a wrap-up. In other words, I fulfilled my words, Chumpy. You then dramatically poses points at Glorian. I took a girl. Besides, in the polls, I'm still more popular than you. Although Anton is inevitably in the lead. Must be tough being the Lester younger brother, huh? Like they say, always the bridesmaid and never the bride. Right, Anton? I would prefer if we did not discuss brides. There are things that I'm not fond of remembering. Uh, anyway... Do the poll results really matter? The results were pretty close after all. Florian and Yavin had their own points at the time when they were leading the poll anyway. All of you had fans who felt that you were their, were their favorite. Isn't that great? Yeah, you're right about that. Whew. You really keep this, you really do keep this group from straight up fighting princess. Speaking of fighting, there are flooring fans who really don't like Anton, vice versa, and there are, Ant there are Anton fans who aren't too fond of Florian. I'd really like to see who those two go groups get into a big juicy argument about who's the better brother. Do you always go around cheering on fights? No wonder you don't have any friends. <laughs> I have friends. Even if I didn't, it, then it would be a personal choice, I assure you. In any case, perhaps this difference in opinions is from the contrast of Florian and myself. Anton is a lot more distant, and his reactions are really subtle, after all. On the other hand, Florian is pretty obvious. You can say that again. So obvious. It's, re it's painfully difficult to watch sometimes. Right. He'd know all about watching. <coughs> anyway, this is a great dinner, don't you think? Fun fact, out of the four of us, I'm the best cook. Are you just going to go with the entire, this entire ex extra episode? Just shove an entire basket of breadsticks down your throat and be quiet. Hm. You don't think I was already planning on doing that? But it'd be boring if we all glared at each other until dinner was over. In other words, I have a bad feeling. I brought my fan fiction of Princess of Anton! What? A fan fiction of me and Anton? That's, this is rather disturbing, even, even for you. Please, leave the comments of disgust after for after I read the fanfiction aloud. Disclaimer, this is just a meta joke, kids. Don't ship actual people. Real people aren't just objects or characters, so don't treat them like it, hmm? Anyway, special thanks to for flooring over here for so desperately pleading with me to write this work of art. I was being sarcastic! Too bad, because the damage is already done. Take it as... Take that as a life lesson. Actually, I have two different fan fictions I made. Which do you want to hear first? The school life alternative universe? Or the copy sh coffee shop AU? AU? It means alternative universe. You'd know it if you spent more time on the internet. Yeah, right. The internet is probably filled with people like you, so no thanks. Good choice. Well, I guess we'll start with the school life one. I'll just summarize it and read the highlights. You can enjoy the full thing on your own time. I'm excited to what you 
I'm excited to hear what you have. Probably. What about you, Aunt Hud? I suppose I'm excited as I ever am. Good. Probably. <coughs> In the school setting, Anton is the smoking hot new student teacher at the princess's school. Oh no. <laughs> At least someone's enjoying this beside me. Anyway, the people in the class clamor about the new teacher and ask if Anton's dating anyone, to which he coolly replies, I have not seen one anyone at the moment. The other people in the class joke about uh, joke around with asking out and asking about what his type it what's his type, but their efforts are dampened by Anton's level headedness. As it turns out, and it turns out that Anton is a pretty stern and effective teacher, so she can turn from cool to intimidating in a second. After school, Princess forgets her notebook or something at her desk and goes back to the empty classroom to retrieve it at sunset. Sunset. Of course! And so, Princess sees the dreamy Anton ga gazing out the window. The wind softly swaying his hair just as the princess's heart is about to be beginning to sway. <coughs> Allow me to read select passages. Never date dreamy. Anton soon goes to see out present in the classroom. Realizing that the handsome student teacher was looking right at her. See how snap back into attention. Oh, God. Shh, Florian, I want to hear. Must we, Lady CL? Of course. The shop student teacher makes a, made a guess as to why CL was there. Did you forget something, Anton asked. CL noticed that Anton's tone of voice was more gentle than the one she had heard during the day. The change was subtle, but there. Perhaps the usual sternness was just his way of being professional. Yeah, just my notebook. CL laughed awkwardly as she walked over to her desk that coincidentally was right was next to the window that Anton was standing at. Ah, I found it, CL said to herself as she retrieved her notebook. Sorry, I just had to come back, even though it's almost time for school the clo gates to close. Despite the student teacher's previous gentle tone, Ciel was still a little worried that he'd respond strictly. Ciel nervously looked up at Anton, curious as to what he would say. Luckily for Ciel, it turned out that the gentle tone wasn't just a one-time thing. It's fine. Anton replied simply, Take care on your way home. Uh -huh. See, I was expressly apprehensive of expression met his uh, sweet, relieved smile. I will! See, I replied with her usual cheer. She would usually have spoken so energetically to his teacher. But she was happy that Anton wasn't as stern as she thought he was. You take care, too. Wow. How long is this going on? Somebody interrupt. <laughs> Ew. Can we stop there? Oh, but you didn't even come to the, into the story yet. You're a tutor at the school. Oh, and Princess's Pops is the principal at the school, too. Just saying. Wow, that was fun, but kind of embarrassing. Glad to hear it. That's what these fan fictions are all about, after all. And what does the other star main character think about it? You certainly have time on your hands. Of course. Well, maybe you'll have stronger opinion on this when you hear about the other stuff I have planned. Study dates, rare weekend dates, 
messages on the phone, an accidental first kiss between the two of you. The school life, a a you, it's truly bright. Right. What subject does Anton even teach anyway? Glad to see that you're curious. I'm not. Right. Anton is above all average all rounder, so he can basically teach you anything. But the princess, but princess is the one who will have to educate him on thing on the <laughs> educate him on the ways of love. Ugh. Don't worry, you're an above average all rounder too. Anton might be more extensive for knowledge than you because he's older, but at least you have more to conscious in the love subject. Anton is so dense sometimes that it's like trying to port a concrete wall. You seem to be enjoying this immensely. It is my passion. You can't leave out the potential of coffee of the coffee shop. Oh, hey you uh, either. Both Anton and Princess work part time in the same coffee shop. And so coffee brews, but so does love. Ugh. What? Jealous? No, just disgusted. I guess fanfictions themselves aren't bad, but you actually know it's so it's weird. Whatever, just let me talk about my coffee shop with uh, AU. The sweet romance that writes Princess and Anton has more spice than a pumpkin spice latte. Uh. hear that sentence every day. Ooh. <laughs> I wonder how long you've been thinking about these AUs you come in. Longer than I should. <laughs> I think so too. Aww. <laughs> oh, please, princess. Gratuitous self-interest is shameful. What is this, 2007? What are you talking about? Can we just enjoy the evening for the rest of the day? I don't want to talk about spice anymore. Yay. Oh, that looks good, Florian. Did you get, get the message, like, to my precious, bo the most precious boy or something along with it? Yeah, I did. I don't really know why, though. I think you were the only or the one that people called precious the most often. Really? Sheesh! How can people say that with a straight face? Well anyway, did you wanna try some? I think you like it. Really? I'd love to. Here. Hold it right there. Uh oh. Whoa. You really think I let you do that right in front of me? What are you talking about? Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Bon appetit. You gotta get some spice in your life too, Mr. Plain Vanilla. Why you? Some people happen to like plain vanilla. Why Flor don't worry, Florian, I like vanilla. Lady CL. Anton does too. Uh, oh, right. Ooh la la, you are so weak to princess. Ugh, just take the breadsticks and leave. No breaking the furniture, you two. Oh boy, they do it out. <laughs> Sorry about all that noise, Anton. I know you're patient and all, but it probably gets tiring after a while. True, I'm not too fond of brawls in restaurants. However, you certainly seem to be enjoying this. I suppose seeing you smile results in me lighting up, lightening up as well. I am still a bit conflicted as whether it's that good or bad, but 
And Manly, there's not such a bad feeling if it's with you. Oh, Really? I'm glad to hear that. Ah, hey! Oh, boy. You two have a lot of nerve spewing cheesy lines right in front of us. Oh, come on. You're the one making fan fictions about them. This is this, and that was that. I still... I still like, like, princess, you know. I'll never understand you. Are you guys di done fighting yet? We have to apologize to the staff later. Yay! Yay! No, <laughs> they're so cute together. But, yeah. We finished Anton Drought. Wow. In the next one, I think I'm going to take a break and then go after freaking Precious, I guess. Bye. Oh, wait. Do the auto right. Okay, this is the end of the episode, so remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and be sure to follow me on Twitter and on Twitch. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!